So today we're back with video number 12 in our series of Getting Started with Pro Tools, where we cover the basics of how to get into Pro Tools and start working right away. So in our dozen or so videos, we've built the song and learned all the steps and moved pretty quickly, and they've only been a couple of minutes per video. So in today's video, we're going to try to put it all together. We're going to put on a master fader, and I'm going to show you how to use a VU meter to get a really nice balance of your mix so you can send it to write, work, or hopefully place one of your songs. Let's dig in. Thanks. If you notice, our drums are here, right? So if we move the drums down, we have the MIDI above the drums, and then we have the audio part down here. So let's go back to our mix window, which is Command. And it is Command equals. Command G is creating a group. So let's just call this uh, music. And I'll show you what I'm going to do. I'm going to make it an M. And you'll be like, why are you making an M? Are you that OCD? Well, I am, but that has nothing to do with this. When this little thing with the A to Z is clicked, that's the keyboard focus. That means when it's lit up, when it's grayed out, it's not active. When it's yellow, it is. If you look over here, I'm going to turn that group on and off without clicking on it. So if I hit the M, it's on, off. I don't have to go in and select, which can be a real pain when you have a lot of things happening in the mix. So right now it's on. And the reason I put it on was I want to drag this down and put everybody off in the off position. So now I'm going to select this track and I'm going to create a new, which means it'll put it right in there. So I'm going to create a new track and I'm going to go with a stereo and I'm going to go with a master fader. And it's going to say master and I got to make sure that it's selected to monitor out why it went to room, verb, or whatever it's on. I don't know. All right. So why am I doing this? Well, you want to get your levels, right? And you're not totally sure how to do it. So what I would do to make your life simple is I would put a VU meter up. And the VU meter that I like that's pretty inexpensive is this one, Klinghelm. Now this is set to minus 18, right? Let the track play. And I'm going to start bringing up the drums. Now everything went up because I had the group on, so I'm going to hit the M and shut the group off. Cool. So usually I have the drums separated. I separate the kick, the snare, etc. And I have a way of, of, of setting these up and I have my own numbers. But for now, let's go for that. That was like minus 4.8. So now I'm going to solo the bass, bring the bass up. And the bass is over here. Sorry. I'm going to solo the bass and bring the bass up and set that to the same level, not with the fader, but on the VU. I want to make it 4.8. Sorry, I don't know why the bass was panned. It's not good. All right, cool. So now let's bring up this guitar. Bring up this guitar. Let's take a listen. Was as I was shooting for about minus five on the bay on the drums, and then I would do the same with the bass. And then the guitars, I was taking a guess if they were minus nine or you know, somewhere in there. 
So thanks again for watching these Pro Tools Tips videos. We do appreciate it. Hit the like button if you enjoyed this video. Also hit the subscribe button and hit the notification bell so we can let you know when we have more like this coming. Feel free to send us any messages or comments. We'd love to hear from you. If you have any ideas or if I missed anything or if you have any key commands, shortcuts that I don't know about, I'd love to learn them from you. Thanks again.